Do you need to make some money fast? In this video, I'm gonna show you five side hustles you can start right now to add some extra income. These are some of the hottest new trends that tens of thousands of people are using every single day to add $100 or more per day of income. So stay tuned. All right, Market Disruptors, welcome back. On the Tuesday videos, I talk about before you're investing. On Thursdays, we talk about investing. So, of course, before you can invest, you need to make enough money to pay your bills, save some, and then you can invest what's left over. So we're going to talk about before you invest, how you can make extra money. That's what we're going to talk about today. You have to save so that you can invest, but you need to make enough money so you can do that. I've talked about side hustles, and a lot of you guys have asked a lot of questions. You've asked me to give you recommendations of side hustles, how you evaluate side hustles. So I'm going to talk about that. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to break it down into two videos. This week, we're going to talk about ways that you can make extra money, side hustles, uh, how you can do that locally, how you can do that you know, physically present. And then next week, we're going to talk about making side money, side hustles online. So you can do it um, not physically present. The first thing you need to do is you need to ask yourself, like, what value can I provide? Right? We've talked about that. If you want to make more money, you have to figure out how you can provide more value. That's really what it comes down to. Um, you, 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 know, you can work more hours doing the same thing, but if you want to increase the amount you get paid, you have to provide more value. So you have to ask yourself, what skills do I have? What can I do? Also, what interests do I have? What passions do I have? So that's kind of where you get started is trying to figure that out. And then you want to figure out what your goals are. So how much money do I need? How much extra money do I need? When do I need it by? Like what, why? And why is always the big question. You need to understand why you need a goal because the why you need to achieve that goal has to be bigger than the why not. Think about that. How much money do you need? When do you need it by? And that's going to determine also the jobs that you can do and then how hard and how much time you need to spend doing those jobs. Um, now, these that I'm going to provide to you today, that I'm going to kind of talk about today, they're really meant to be side hustles. Um, unless you're just starting out, I suppose they could be like your main job, but they're not really meant to be full-time jobs. I think they're just really good ways to add to your existing income. However, what's interesting is that a study was done. They said by 2020, which is next year, 40% of all jobs are going to be gig jobs. That means jobs that are just done like on a one on one basis or a one-time basis. We are seeing this the market shift that way. And so gig jobs will be a big piece of that. And these jobs are great to add income, um, but probably not to replace your income unless you're already making a little bit of money. Now, the first one we're going to get into is care.com. It's a website you can go to and you can find jobs. Now, care.com is, is again, this, these are local opportunities. So this is a way you can find local care. You can find babysitting, child care, senior care, pet care. Maybe you want to walk dogs or you want to have dogs over at your house, um, tutoring, housekeeping, things like that. So these are all things that you'll need to be physically present for. And some people make a lot of money just babysitting and walking dogs. You know, there's all types of things. So care.com is a great place you can go. Find something that you are pretty good at. Find something that you kind of like. And you can find jobs as you need them. You can figure out how much you want to work and then how much money you want to make, of course. So care.com is the first option. The next option, number two, is uh, is one that's pretty cool. It's a new one. It's called Instacart. And it's a website, instacart.com. And what this one does is you can basically pick out people's groceries for them. So people that are too busy, they don't want to go shopping, they don't have time, they submit like a shopping list. And then um, you can either one, take that list and go buy all their products for them at the store and just leave them at the counter so they can just come and pick them up and go or you can actually deliver them for them. So there's two different ways that you can do that. Now what's good about this is most everybody knows how to do this. So this doesn't have to be a special skill. Most likely you already know how to do this. Um, it doesn't have to be a passion. Uh, maybe you like shopping, uh, maybe you like food or whatever. What's great about this is you don't really need extra skills and you can work your own schedule. So you can decide you know, how, how long you wanna work, how often you wanna work, when you wanna work. And then you, you can either have a car or you don't need a car. So if you have a car, you could actually get the um, grocery for them and deliver them. And if you don't have a car, you could just ride the bus or Uber right to the grocery store and just fill orders that way. So that's a great way for someone with no skills, but you have extra time on your hands is you can go to Instacart, set up a, a shopper profile, and you can start doing shopping for other people. 
Now, the third option we'll talk about is something that most people are probably aware of, but maybe haven't ever used, and that's Craigslist. So Craigslist is a, is, is a giant website where mostly your people are buying and selling stuff, but there's also a giant services section on there. So you can find people that are looking for services and you can also post your services on there and you can do all types of things from you know landscaping window cleaning photography videography all types of lessons whether that's music lessons or <laughs> So pretty much any option that you can think of is available there on Craigslist. So it starts at the beginning, like I said, which is figure out what it is that you know how to do, what you're good at doing, um, what you like doing, and then figure out what you can do. Now, you may not like landscaping, but if that's the only thing that you can do, then you can go do that. It doesn't take any real extra special skills. Or maybe your job is customer service or data entry, and you can provide data entry services um, through Craigslist with somebody else. So those are options. Look at Craigslist and it's a good way to find lots of jobs that you can do. And then the fourth option that we talk about is like local buying and selling. Now this is something that's actually starting to kind of gain some mainstream um, attraction with Gary Vaynerchuk. If you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, check him out on YouTube. And he has a series where he actually goes to garage sales and then he buys stuff at garage sales and then he turns around and sells them. 99 minimum, so we'll get 10 for that. I haven't looked this up yet, but this is old as shit. Man, he makes a lot of money. Sometimes he's making a thousand, two thousand dollars a day. And for buying like, you know, matchbox cars or, um, you know, dolls or stuffed animals. But this is old as shit. Cards, things like that. And then he turns around and, and breaks them up. So you can go to garage sales and find great deals. And then you can take that stuff that you bought at garage sale and sell it right on Craigslist. Or, or you can go on Amazon and eBay. So you can do it on Craigslist. Um, you can also go on to Craigslist and look at the free section and see the stuff that's for free. And then you can turn and sell that stuff as well. Um, you can buy um, like used cell phones. They've got their new phone. Their old phone's not worth anything. You can buy that for cheap and you can turn around and sell that as well. That's another option. That's a fourth option for local buying and selling. Now I told you I'd give you four. I'm going to give you a bonus fifth one. I'm not going to get into this because you probably already know, but most people watching this probably know how to drive a car, probably have a car. And of course, Uber and Lyft is another great way to do that. You can fill your spare time and make some extra cash. That's five options and not just four. So tips for success with these. First, like I said, pick something that you're good at. Pick something that you know how to do. You don't want to be trying to figure this out as you go along and, and pick something that you like. You don't want to go into something that you hate because then it's just torture. If it's something that you already like and you're already good at, then it's going to be much easier for you to do this. And then you want to really build a good reputation. So um, a lot of these you're going to build profiles and then the more that people hire you to do these jobs, you're going to build up a reputation and that means the more jobs you're going to get. So you want to make sure that you over deliver value, right? We always talk about that over deliver value, build yourself up a really good reputation and you're going to get a lot more business that way. To end this little short segment, um, I really only recommend that you use this to get to the next step. All right. This is kind of like a short term. I need to get some extra cash. I want to make some extra money to invest. Um, and so it's really something that's meant to be used short term. I, I really don't recommend, you know, making this like a full time job because ultimately I'm trying to get you guys to figure out how to deliver more value to make more money. And so the, all of these are pretty low value type jobs and you're really trading time for money. And I don't really recommend that. So I want to get you to move up to the next level, but sometimes you have to start where you are. So these are great ways to start adding extra income right now so you can invest, so you can um, increase your education. Maybe you want to buy this um, education course so you can learn more stuff, so you can provide more value. And this is a way that you could go make that extra money to buy that course, go to that class, um, go to that conference, things like that. So use it as a stepping stone. Use it to fill the gaps. Stay tuned for next week where I'm going to talk about um, online tips. So this is ways you can make money without having to physically be present. Ways that you can sit on your laptop from anywhere in the world or sit in your pajamas and make some money. So if you want to know more about any one of these specific ones, make sure to leave me comments down below. Give me some thumbs up if you like this. If you don't like it, give me thumbs down and let me know. Your feedback helps me decide what videos to make. So thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, leave me comments. And um, if any one of these, like I said, if any one of these really stand out to you, maybe I can go into a more in depth on another video. And that's it. Hopefully that makes sense for you. Hopefully you can make some extra money and move up to your success. I'm out. <laughs>